Savitri, page 279. This in high realms touches immortal kind. What here is in the bud has blossomed there. There is the secrecy of the house of flame, the blaze of God-like thought and golden bliss, the rapt idealism of heavenly sense. There are the wonderful voices, the sun laugh, a gurgling eddy in rivers of God's joy, and the mysteried vineyards of the gold moon wine, all the fire and sweetness of which hardly hear. A billion shadow visits mortal life. Although are witnessed there the joys of time, pressed on the bosom, the immortal touch is felt. Heard are the flutings of the infinite. Here upon earth are early awakenings, moments that tremble in an air divine, and grown upon the yearning of her soil. Time's sunflowers gaze at gold eternity. There are the imperishable beatitudes, a million lotuses swaying on one stem, world after colored and ecstatic world, claims towards some far unseen epiphany. On the other side of the eternal stars, the mighty kingdoms of the deathless flame aspire to reach the being's absolutes out of the sorrow and darkness of the world, out of the depths where life and thought are tombed, lonely mounts up to heaven the deathless flame. In a veiled nature's hollowed secrecies, it burns forever on the altar mine. It sprees the souls of dedicated gods Humanity, its house of sacrifice. Once kindled, never can its flaming cease. A fire along the mystic paths of earth. It rises through the mortal's hemisphere, till borne by runners of the day and dusk. It enters the occult eternal light and clambers whitening to the invisible throne.